New York City is synonymous with the skyscraper. Since the late 19th century, each economic cycle and architectural trend has driven a different era of high-rise development, resulting in the iconic skyline we know today. Now, as demand for luxury residential property in Manhattan is far outstripping the availability of land, super skinny towers with a width to height ratio greater than one to seven are ushering in a new age. Rising from a narrow site between an existing 40-story office tower and New York's Museum of Modern Art, 53 West 53rd Street has been more than a decade in the making. In 2006, New York City's Museum of Modern Art began exploring ways to develop a small site they owned adjacent to their main buildings in Midtown. Their idea was to make the land available for development, funding an expansion of the museum onto part of the site. With demand for high-end residential properties in Manhattan exceeding the amount of land available, a super skinny high-rise tower was conceived, maximizing floor area and value from the development. Named after its 53 West 53rd Street address, the tower is officially known as 53W53 and is located just a stone's throw away from the emerging Billionaires Row and Central Park. Originally proposed to stand 381 metres or 1,250 feet tall, the same height as the Empire State Building, the original designs for the tower were rejected by city planners who considered it to be an overdevelopment of such a small site and who raised concerns regarding the large shadow it would cast over Central Park. Taking these concerns on board, the project team resubmitted plans for a shorter 320 meter, 1050 foot tower. The New York City Planning Commission approved the development in 2009 on the condition that enough surrounding air rights were purchased to offset the extreme height of the new tower and to ensure that neighbouring sites could not be developed to the same extent in the future. The result for the development would be a skyscraper that could offer its residents breathtaking views of the city without the risk of them becoming obstructed by neighbouring buildings. Shortly after this breakthrough, the project was put on hold as the world wrestled with the worst financial crisis since the Great Depression and as developer confidence receded. Despite this setback, the project's developers, Heinz and Goldman Sachs, used the downtime to begin purchasing air rights from a number of the tower's adjoining sites, including the University Club of New York, St. Thomas's Church, and the site's former owner, the Museum of Modern Art. With an eventual resurgence in the property market some years later, developers formed a joint venture with the Pontiac Land Group to resurrect the project. With the last air rights secured, and the city planners' preconditions satisfied, construction of the tower commenced in 2014. Situated within three separate zoning districts, each with its own height and setback regulations, the tower's architect, Jean Novel, had to take a number of factors into account when conceiving 53 West 53rd's design. The result is an impressive and uniquely formed structure that interprets its context, tapers in at different angles as it rises, and that does not feel overbearing from street level. The tower offers 149 residences across its 77 floors, ranging from one to four bedroom apartments and a 617 square meter two level penthouse at its summit. With an extreme width-to-height ratio of 1 to 12, the tower's structural engineering is considerably complex. From foundations that extend deep into Manhattan Island's underlying bedrock, the tower rises around a high-strength reinforced concrete core, with an impressive diagrid structure supporting its perimeter facade. This eliminates the need for internal columns within the high-end residences, improving flexibility of the layouts whilst creating sweeping views. 
Whilst the tower's diagrid perimeter was originally planned in steel, the floor-to-floor -floor heights that's offered were limiting. Instead, the project team developed the structural elements in reinforced concrete. Some of the connections between these structural members are extremely complex, with as many as eight different elements converging into a single node in some instances. The steel reinforcement for such junctions was so complicated that the project team constructed full-scale mock-ups before construction commenced. This ensured the designs they had developed would work and that concrete could sufficiently cover and settle around the reinforcement. 53 West 53rd is topped by a breathtaking 40 metre, 131 foot steel and glass spire that offers a modern interpretation of New York's famous tapering summits whilst obscuring a feature that is key to the tower's structural integrity, a 650 tonne tuned mass damper between the 74th and 76th floors. The residences within 53 West 53rd redefine luxury living. With prices starting from 3 million US dollars for a one bedroom apartment, the tower's two level penthouse can be yours for 70 million US dollars. Designed with solid oak American flooring, top of the range appliances and marble countertops to name just a few features, residents also have access to a range of amenities, including a library, state-of-the-art theater, pool, and a private wine lounge. They'll also gain benefactor membership with the neighboring Museum of Modern Art as part of its 39,000 square foot expansion into the lower three levels of the tower. Though not officially on Billionaire's Row, which is broadly located to the north of 57th Street, 53 West 53rd is recognized as one of New York's most exclusive new addresses, thanks to its incredible design, proximity to Central Park, and its views of the skyline. Once completed later in 2018, 53 West 53rd will join 432 Park Avenue and the emerging 111 West 57th as Manhattan's newest super skinny luxury residential tower, the latest step in the ever continuing evolution of the world's most famous skyline. If you enjoyed this video and would like to get more from the definitive video channel for construction, subscribe to the B1M.